Hey there, YouTube. Are you ready to shave this off? Well, not all of it, but some of it. I've been growing this longer and longer just for this review video. We're going to be looking at Bell & Howell's Tack Shaver. Tack lights, tack lanterns, tack visors, tack glasses, nighttime tack glasses, and now tack shavers? We're going to try this out today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I think it's a lot of fun. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's talk more about this tack shaver that I bought for 20 bucks at my local as seen on TV retailer. Let's do a quick unboxing. Do you know what I found interesting with this item? The Bell & Howell commercial for the tack shaver says it's $29.99, but I bought this for $19.99, which that was different, right? Should be the same price. All right, what do I have here? It looks like I have some directions and a setup. I have my arbitration agreement. I have more directions, and then I have the razor itself. So here's what the razor looks like, okay? Pretty small, it's about the size of a credit card. Um, let's see if it has a charge from the factory. Ooh, it does, sounds kinda weak, but it does have a charge from the factory. It also comes with a little um, carrying case and then a charger with a custom charger for this specific um, razor. So let me read through the directions and then we'll charge it and then we'll run it through some tests. And you know what? I'm going to shave with it. So this razor takes eight hours to charge before your first use. You know what they said though on the infomercial is this works wet or dry and maybe I should shave before trying this test out, but I just can't wait. So here we go. Still working. Whew. Isn't that interesting? A silly test, but I had to do it. Let's go charge this and then I'll shave down my beard. When it's charging, the light will be green. It takes about eight hours. So let's check back in later. Are you ready to test this out? So you can use it two different ways, right? You can use it when it's plugged in, it works, or when it's unplugged, just depending on your batteries, okay? What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use this part, I didn't show it earlier, um, it's a trimming function to trim down some of the bulk here. And I'm gonna try to keep shit in this trash can so my wife doesn't get mad at me later. She is filming. All right, let's do this. Hmm. So I'm immediately noticing the stubble is too thick. It's not, I'm gonna unplug it so I can get a better angle. All right, so the stubble is kind of thick. It does cut some things off. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sweep a little bit of this off and then I'm gonna come off camera and then I'm gonna come back and do um, with the other part. All right, so I just shaved down some of the bulk right here. There is some stubble still left over. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to shave with the top part here and see how it works out. So let's do this. I can already tell my skin has gotten red just from the other part, but. Well, it definitely worked. Don't feel like it's stubble. What do you think? Yeah. 
I am getting the hang of it. it. Takes a little to get the used to. As I was looking at this, I noticed this skin turned really, really red, right? And I sort of noticed by the my wife's face when she was like, anyway, um, it didn't hurt when I was shaving, but the directions do say it might take weeks for you to your skin to develop or get used to this. But if it gets red, discontinue the use. It did not hurt me when I was doing it. Um, I'm going to do a little more here and then we're going to clean this thing right up. I want to get some more hair in there so we can clean it. So I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts of the Bell and Howell Tack Shaver? Would you want something like this? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So for the most part, we've only been doing a dry shave or when my skin was dry, but the Tack Shaver said you can use it on dry or wet skin. Let's try to see what it looks like under wet skin as well as dry. So they say you can use this razor dry or wet. I want to try that out. I still have some stubble. I just trimmed this whole thing down with a different razor because this one just wasn't cutting through it and that makes sense. But let me use my Sun's Fire Hydrant. And it's got my face all wet on this side. So let's try it. Ready? Huh. I automatically tell it's a whole lot smoother actually. I felt sometimes that the hair was ripping on the dry side. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this feels almost like it's pulling and tugging. Um, it doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. Whereas on the wet side, I don't feel as much of the pulling and tugging, but that could just be a personal preference. Um, as I feel it, I do feel this is smoother than this side. This one feels a little more coarse still. That just be, could be because of the texture. But for me, I probably would use this doing a, a wet shave, making sure my face is wet. Therefore, the blades will go over it smoother. I just wanted to show you that. Let's talk cleaning of the tack shaver. So on either side of the shaver, there are these buttons. You just push that in and then pop off the top. It's real simple. So it does come with this little cleaning brush, big bristle, bristle on this side and um, more of a rounded bristle on this side or bristles. Um, so then we're just going to dust out all the hair that was in there back and forth. Make sure it's all clean. Pull out this part here. Make sure that's all clean. It's, I guess, needless to say, but the directions recommend only having one person use the razor. They say for hygiene purposes, and that makes sense, right? You don't want to be spreading germs or whatnot, but they just said that in the direction. So it's real simple to clean out, um, and then you can assemble it, put it back together for the next use. All in all, I think it did a pretty good job. What do you think? Do I look even more handsome than I did before? I think so. I could be biased though. So today we've been looking at the Tack Shaver. The Tack Shaver is an as seen on TV razor by Bell and Howell. It's also made by a parent company called Emson, E-M-S-O-N. Um, if you look at the infomercial, this razor looks a lot different, right? Because in the infomercial, I think it's like silver or gray around here. It's about the same size, um, but there are just slight variations. Did we checked this ran underwater, just like it said. It did an okay job shaving stubble. I wouldn't necessarily use this on longer hair. Um, I was fighting through it, and it was getting the job done, but it would have taken forever. So I ended up trimming everything up with a different razor, and then using this both dry and wet to shave the stubble. And I think it did a good job. I will say at the end of my shaving, my skin was all red, almost like it was irritated. Um, and even though I didn't feel like it was ripping hair out or pulling, the skin just got red. It, it went down after that. The directions say it takes about three weeks for your skin to get used to a new razor, and they would consider this a new razor. Um, I did like that it has a charging feature. I did not like that it did not come with an adapter to plug in. Why don't people send the adapter? I had to hunt through my house to find one and unplug a phone or whatnot to get to it. Um, but it does have a USB charger with a special um, a special head just for this razor. I do like that it comes with its handy dandy carrying case. It comes with a little brush to clean it and of course a cap to make sure it stays clean and safe um, for storage. Now let's get to a buy or deny. 
Would I recommend you buying this for everyday use? Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. This right here is going right into the camper. You guessed it. I see this is a great tool for camping, right? That's why I don't have to get my razor blades out, no shaving cream, don't have to worry about the water. I can just shave and go and it's quick and easy. And it is quick and easy. In the infomercial, they showed people or guys shaving on the way to work. Could I see that? Sure. I have a 30 minute drive to work. Why not trim up things to make it look more professional? I like that idea too. At home, however, I'll probably just stick with my straight blade razor because it's something I'm used to. It gets the job done well. Um, and this does not make me, I guess, want to swap over. Now, am I going to get rid of it? No. I will use it. Um, I just have other, other uses for it. So that's my recommendation. It all depends on what you will use it for. Anyway, that was my review of the Tack Shaver, the very new As Seen on TV razor from Bell and Howell. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. It is super awesome that you stuck around for my entire review of the Bell and Howell Tack Shaver. I really do appreciate that. Um, I want to refer you to another video I did not that long ago. And since we're on Bell and Howell Tack products, you guessed it. Tack glasses night vision. I use these for the daytime, the nighttime, all the time. I really just like the glasses. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the review video I did for these right up here and i would love it if you would click on this link or this rectangle and go check out that video remember you must be logged into youtube to see what's happening right up here otherwise you miss it and i look like a crazy person anyway i'll see you at this video over here go ahead click it it's safe i promise